So I, I, while we have a moment while Nick collects his stuff, um, the Boosters Club did a fantastic job. Just so if you haven't been over here by the dais, um, every kid here has gotten a, a tumbler. It says West Ice of Lacrosse on it. The seniors will have a college sweatshirt of their choice where they're going to go next year. They have a senior day photo from the middle of the field, 50 yard line. It's a great shot. My son has one on his wall from last year. It's his favorite picture he's ever had. He loves it, takes the college with him, so I'm sure you guys will have this on your wall by tonight. They also have these fantastic, sharp looking jackets. They're, they're great. Plus the certificates from the school and those pins. So that is, uh, if you got an opportunity, boys, give a thanks out to the, to the Booster Club. They did a, a, a fantastic job. All right. Our next player, going to Farmdale State College next year, midfielder Arturo Arcilla. the guy than Arturo, that's for sure. <laughs> Our next player, Coley, heading to Malloy to play lacrosse, Johnny Basili. <laughs> no Johnny since he was a, a little goalie that once we lost our goalie in the 2021 group, we kept on going down to the 22s and still in their goalie and Johnny's like, yeah, I'll be there. So certainly we'll miss him. Our next player, uh, defenseman going to SUNY Canton, Tyler Bedell. As you can see, Tyler's won the, the best hair award for the last two years running, and uh, no challenges. Our next player, um, it, it, it kind of breaks my heart a little bit with Jake because he was all lined up, ready to have a fantastic senior season. Changed his body. You could tell he was in the weight room. He was putting the time in on the wall, like Coach Craig was talking about. He was doing everything needed to really, you know, be a leader out there and take us to the next level. And you know, sometimes you think six-five against Comstock. What's that score if Jake's in there? I, I would happen to think that maybe we got the six and they got the five. Uh, but he's gonna go. The good news is he's heading the pace. He's gonna go play lacrosse there. Jake Santee. He's got the pole. Yes. Uh, and he did a fantastic job in every in every position. Really seamless. I've never seen a guy carry three sticks in one season. But uh, he did a fantastic job. He's going to go to Western Connecticut, play lacrosse next year, probably as a midi. Uh, Kyle Sinati. Next player, we've heard a bunch uh, of information about this guy. He's headed to Stony Brook to play, and he's going to storm them day one of practice. I know he will. Jack Delapizzi. <laughs> Our next player, an attack me, is going to head over to Coastal Carolina. Fantastic kid, Connor Duffy. Yeah. Next senior, a midi. He's heading to Geneseo. Geneseo. Um, we're going to ask that maybe we can uh, retain the services of 
Nicole Esposito for another year. I know uh, she's probably going to go follow him up to Geneseo, but we pay good. Max Esposito. Max is a true leader. He basically took over our offensive meetings this year. He, he, he didn't really need me. He was just in there drawing up stuff. It was great. All right, next versatile player, Mitty. Sometimes he's an offensive guy, sometimes he's a defensive guy. Um, but he just uh, just had a lot of different tools fast, uh, had great stick skills, tough, great ground ball guy, heading to East Carolina, Dylan Gagliotto. <laughs> Next gentleman we've seen a few times tonight. We've seen him a couple of times tonight. He will be heading to Western Connecticut to play lacrosse. Defenseman, JJ gets in here. <laughs> Next player. LSM, def close defenseman. Well, we know the next person not going to drop it because he's only had one turnover the entire year. So, uh, Matt Kramer, heading to Mercy, playing cross. <laughs> and lastly, will be midfielder heading to Malloy, football lacrosse guy, just an absolute wonderful human being, great sense of humor, and just a, a beast on the on the athletic field. Conrad McChain. someone or just destroy him when they had the ball. Helped me get a lot of anger out and have fun at the same time. <laughs> and uh, I fell in love with it. Around that time, I began to meet many of my fellow teammates and we made great friendships and memories, some we could never forget. We'd watch each other grow and improve, not just as lacrosse players, but as people through a course over 10 years. I'd like to start by thanking my family for their endless support throughout my career. Putting up with me coming home angry after some games or tournaments, it's not an easy task. I tend to be quick to snap on days like that, and uh, lots put up with. And uh, they also helped mold me into the person I am today, so thank you. I'd also like to thank the coaches for getting on us when we weren't giving it our all and making us better players as the season progressed. 
but not shying away from having a good laugh and teaching us lessons like never getting too high or too low and having trust in people around you when things get rough. Coach Corcoran, thank you for the endless opportunities you have given me throughout my varsity career to better myself. Even though we gave you some gray hairs and almost killed you a few times with those close games, you're definitely a person I'll always remember. Coach Carrigan, thank you for all the good times and laughs you gave us to help me improve on my defensive game as a lacrosse player. Coach Matera, I've known you for a while since you used to train me as a young kid. Having you on the varsity this year brought a different dynamic to the team. You brought a ton of energy and showed a lot of commitment rushing to practice after coming from class or uh, hot Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely helped this team reach <laughs> definitely helped this team reach a different level. <laughs> coach Pilati, it was a huge help having you up full-time on the varsity this year. Having an extra coach met another mind that knew the game of lacrosse well, and another person motivating this team to strive for success. Thank you to all the parents, fans, and the Booster Club for your support throughout the years. And finally, I'd like to thank my teammates. We didn't meet our ultimate expectations this year, but we showed that we weren't a lacrosse team to take lightly. When we played, it was something to see. We came out every day and gave what we had. Whether it was a good day or a bad day, we showed up and did it. Having a lot of fun at times. From the inside jokes to celebrating a win, which everyone knows what that means. And making so many memories. It made this season unforgettable and I'll remember it for the rest of my life. Thank you. This year has really been the year that solidified my love for lacrosse. So uh, a little behind the scenes look at what my life was like during college application time. I, uh, I committed to Geneseo in August of last year and I was like, okay, I'm gonna go play lacrosse. Well, applications started coming around and I was getting a little uneasy. I was like, do I really wanna play lacrosse? Sorry about that one, mom and dad, you guys. <laughs> I'll stress you guys out for sure. And so I, I wasn't really sure. And I ended up sticking with my gut and sticking with my commitment to Gen Co and decided to just let that go. And I, I was really, I felt kind of out of love with the game at that point. And then we started up our bubble sessions once the winter came, and I was like, yeah, I missed hanging out with these guys. But after the first day of practice this spring, I really understood like, why I love the game. After that first day, I came home and I said that was the best day of practice I've ever had. We ran for probably half the practice, but regardless, that really meant I loved the game and I loved hanging around these guys. I wouldn't have asked for anyone better to play with this year, be my senior year, and all these seniors, I've been playing with you guys since probably age seven, age eight, and you guys have been really formative to my development as both a person and a player, and it's been really something special. So I, I'd like to thank my parents here. I know you guys definitely didn't know you were signing up for a kid who would want to play lacrosse every season of every year from age 9 to 18. So I not drained you guys a lot, both socially, monetarily. <laughs> Basically, I took over your social life and everything you were doing was on the sidelines, which I really appreciate. Uh, and then once it got to the varsity level, mom, who stepped up as a photographer, that was amazing. Everyone loved that. Dad, I don't think you missed a single varsity game. I mean, you make sure your schedule is clear. I really appreciate that. So thank you guys for just being really supportive. Uh, next, I'd like to thank the coaches. You guys were awesome. I couldn't ask for anything better. Coach Corkin, you took a chance on me as a 10th grader. And I have to say, shattered my heart a little bit. You put me back down on JV right before the season started. I mean, that really lit a fire under me that I, I couldn't thank anyone else for. I mean, I wanted more than anything to be on that team. And I mean, I worked hard for it after that, so th thank you for doing that. I, I really needed that little push. Coach Kerrigan, I've known you for a while here, and you've always been my number one fan. You've always been everyone's number one fan. After a play, you're the first one to go hug us. It's really something special to have a coach that supports you as much as Coach Kerrigan does. Coach Pilati, we've been through a bunch together. From middle school 
all the way up to now, you've always been just a really supportive coach, and you never let us lose sight of what was important. I remember after games, wins or losses, you would always say to the seniors, make sure you remember like being with the guys, not win or loss, just enjoy your time because it goes fast. That constant reminder was a really good thing for all of us to hear, and it helped me really make sure I got the most out of this season. And Coach Matera, you just brought a different energy to everything. You made us think more than any coach I've ever thought about. Whenever you would explain offense or defense, it was always how the other team was thinking. It elevated us to a level that I don't think any of us knew was possible. And just your intensity was unmatched. I mean, you were screaming your head off for two hours every day, losing your voice. And we, we couldn't ask for a more electric coach than that. And lastly, I'd just like to thank my team. You guys were honestly my rock this year at the end. I mean, the end of senior year is always an interesting time. And knowing I'd go out there every day with you boys was really an honor. Uh, underclassmen, you guys know you have unfinished business. And s juniors, I hope you guys step up and really fill the roles that I know you guys can. Lastly, seniors, it's been a ride, boys. Couldn't ask for a better group to do it with. Thank you very much. Thank you, Max. That was fantastic and enlightening. I, I, I had no idea he was so angry with me. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Conrad. Uh, Conrad. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that, Jack. <laughs> All right, um, I'd like to start off by thanking the Booster Club for everything they've done for uh, us and the team. First, I would like to thank uh, Coach Pilati. Coach AJ was not only our goalie coach, he was our scout coach. If you don't know what scout is, it's pretty much the backups. I know how it feels to not get as much playing time as you like, but every day, Coach AJ would take the scout team to the other end while the ones were going over new stuff. Now, I never participated in the famous AJ drill, but all I know is after the drill, the entire scout team would come back over dripping sweat and have an ear-to-ear -ear smile. This really allowed the team to stay positive and look forward to practice every day and allow our team to have the ultimate success. Thank you. Now, Coach Matera. Coach Matera pushed me harder and harder every day, no matter how small my mistake was. He pointed out every little thing to me, not because he was trying to get on me, because he wanted to make me better. Uh, Coach Kerrigan. Coach Kerrigan was not one, only one of my favorite coaches, he was probably the closest coach I've ever been to. From pregame texts all night long, or every day making us feel like he was one of us. Mr. K is really one of the boys. <laughs> Finally, Coach Corcoran. Coach Corcoran believed in my skill level at a very young age, having me play on the summer team as only a freshman. I was honestly scared shitless my first tournament. <laughs> I couldn't believe the speed of the game I was watching, but he knew I was capable of being great and he pushed me every day to where I am today. Next. I would like to thank my PAL coaches, Mr. Aliani and Mr. Sensi. You two are the ultimate reason uh, me and a huge amount of this team are where we are today. I still remember the day Mr. Aliani told me to put a long pole in my hand, and I'm forever grateful for that. And Mr. Sensi, you were hard on me from day one, just like I was your own son. You cemented the little things in my head, and I still remember them to this day. Thank you. Uh, I would also like to thank my JV coaches, Coach Mack and Coach Delgado. Uh, JV freshman year was probably one of the best across seasons of my life. Um, it was just so much fun. Uh, I would go back to that day anytime. And uh, of course, Kevin. Kevin has done so much for me over the years, 
from soccer to lacrosse, he's always got me back on the field and ready no matter what. And finally, I'd like to thank my parents and my sister. You guys are my biggest supporters. No matter what, you guys lift me up. But I just want to thank you guys for spending countless years and money on me for my success. From travel teams, every weekend, going to Maryland, Delaware, Pennsylvania during the summer. You guys are the biggest factor in my success and you guys are the reason I chose such a close college so you guys can come to every single one of my games. Thank you, I love you guys. graduating senior, I can say with confidence that time does really fly. Having experienced so much lacrosse in my life, I can't begin to convey the gratitude to all my teammates I've made over the years. The players I've played with are the guys I've grown up with, and it's incredible to see how far we've all come. Lacrosse is a game filled with intense emotions. Games with a lot at stake bring out the primal being of the player forcing teams to wreak havoc upon each other for sole possession of the ball. Yet, the sport instructs unity and discipline because of these violent, fierce aspects. And from this, I've learned what makes a successful lacrosse player is a successful teammate. No one on that field plays to the best of their ability unless they know someone has their back. I love lacrosse because success comes to the teams who are one, the teams who play for each other and as one singular unit. Playing the goalie position has definitely shaped who I am as a person. The mentality one has to adopt as a goalie is one I'm proud to embody. To not only endure a constant barrage, but to attack it head on is quite a strain physically, but most mentally. And I'm beyond grateful for the values and mindset being a goalie instilled in me. Being a goalie for this West Lyson team was an honor, and I never enjoyed getting rubber curled anymore, and we go through all <laughs> I'd like, I'd like to take the time to thank my, my mom, my dad, and my brother Bruno for all the support throughout the years. My family not only helped me excel at the sport of lacrosse, but molded me into the person I am today. I love you guys. I also want to thank the coaching staff for all the time and dedication they put into making us better players and individuals. Throughout these past two seasons, I can definitely thank Coach Pilati for much of my improvement as a goalie. His advice and energy during the games helped me keep a level head. I thank you for that. It was a pleasure to have been a part of Goalie Row. Coach Kerrigan, I first met you as my coach during the summer tournaments a couple years back. And this year was unmatched. The energy you brought to practice and game day is one I'll definitely miss. You pushed onto the team a great sense of togetherness. Thank you for that. Coach Corcoran, I'll never forget the opportunities you gave me to progress at such a young age. You've helped me out so much and I can't express how grateful I am. Thank you for everything. It's unfortunate our season ended earlier than expected because I know this group was capable of so much. This collection of players <laughs> that made up our team was truly a unique bunch. And I will miss playing with you all. To all the rising seniors, 
This is your team now. Don't sell yourself short. Set your goals high and achieve them by playing together. You got one last ride with your boys. So make the most of it. All in all, the sport of lacrosse is a huge part of my life. The past two years on varsity were especially unforgettable. I'll never forget the experiences, lessons, and bonds I've made because of this sport. And I'm definitely saddened that this part of my life is ending, but I'm happy to move on to the next stage of my life while still playing the sport I love. Thank you. I think this uh, microphone is telling us it's time to go home. All right, so I, I do want to say uh, great job to those captains for coming up here, speaking your heart, and uh, it's just it's tough to do. You guys did a fantastic job. And I wish you all the luck next year as you move on to your schools, whether you're playing or not. Whether you guys are playing or not, just have a great experience. It should be the greatest four years of your life. Captain Ross, it's your high school years here. Um, make the most of it, be smart. And like I said before, come back, visit. If you want to give back to this, uh, this program, the door is always open. I want to thank the parents for coming here tonight. Uh, for those of you who are, have seniors, when you're moving on again, please come by and you know, watch the boys that are playing at our, at our home games. You know, uh, we will always love to see your faces. It doesn't have to be over. Come on back, and uh, I wish you the best. I just want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the help this year. Uh, built a lot of great relationships and uh, we want that to continue. And for our special guests, uh, thank you for joining us tonight. And before you guys leave, please come over here with a couple of special things. So good night to everybody. Sorry about the microphone. Get home safe.